Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be how to set up a hermit crab isolation tank. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about how to set up a hermit crab isolation tank. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now as you guys can see the title of this video, this video is going to be all about hermit crabs, isolation tanks, and how to set them up. So here we go. Now as you guys can see here, here is my isolation tank that I will be using today. And yes, I know this is a plastic critter keeper and this is not the correct item to be using for a isolation tank, but unfortunately this is the only item that I have in my house while making this video. But I will be also posting pictures on the screen throughout the video showing you guys the right items to be using while you set up your own isolation tank for your hermit crabs. Another thing before we get into it, I just want to say that there is only two reasons why you should have an isolation tank in your home just in case. Number one will be in case of emergency, your hermit crab is molting on top of the surface and you have to get that hermit crab out of there to put it into a separate tank so the other hermit crabs do not bother it. Hermit crabs are molting are very sensitive and you don't want other hermit crabs disturbing or bothering that hermit crab because it can even hurt it or kill it. So you want to have that isolation tank on the side just in case for that reason. Number two reason is if you are buying another hermit crab from the pet stores and before you bring that hermit crab home and put it into the tank with your other hermit crabs, you want to separate that hermit crab for about at least a week and a half just to keep an eye on it to make sure it is okay, it's not sick, it don't have bugs or mites or anything like that. Once that hermit crab is good after a week and a half maybe or a week, then you can put that hermit crab with your other hermit crabs. You don't want to put that hermit crab right into the tank with your other hermit crabs because if that hermit crab is sick or something wrong with it, you might be able to get your other hermit crabs sick and they could even die. So it's always good to have that extra, that isolation tank on the side just in case for those two reasons. So let's go ahead and start this video. Now number one that you're going to need for your isolation tank of course is a tank. The size tank you would probably use would be a five gallon tank. You don't need anything any bigger than that especially if you're only going to have one hermit crab in there at a time. If you do have to have two hermit crabs I would say no more than maybe a 10 gallon but this is only an isolation tank, this is not their forever home. So probably a 5 gallon tank will be just fine. And I'll also put a picture right now on the screen showing you a 5 gallon tank. And make sure it is glass because I will tell you guys in a few minutes of why you need a glass tank, not a plastic one. So you will have your tank and that is a 5 gallon tank. So basically like this. Number 2 will be is a lid. Now when you buy your tank separate, it's not going to have a lid, so you will have to buy the lid separately also. And most of the time the lid is like a metal lid with a screen top on top. So when you get that lid, you're going to have to cover it. It's going to probably have holes kind of like this, but smaller. And what you'll do is you'll just use some duct tape and completely cover the tank lid all the way around to make sure that the humidity and the heat stays inside of the tank while your hermit crab is in there at that time. So number three is going to be your substrate. Now you're going to have to have substrate in there and have plenty of substrate just in case if your hermit crab is molting or if you get a new hermit crab and that hermit crab end up going into molt before you take it out to put it in with the other hermit crabs. So you're going to need substrate inside of the tank. You can use either play sand or eco earth. It doesn't matter which whenever you want to use. Play sand you can get at Lowe's or you can get the eco earth at Petco or PetSmart or you can even take both of them and mix them together. As long as it looks like beach like sand you are perfectly fine and good to go. And I have some stuff right here to show you guys what it would look like. Okay so here is my substrate. This is actually play sand and equal earth dirt mixed together and all I did was just wet a little bit. You would just take some warm water, mix it around, make sure it's nice and good to go and then you will put it inside of your tank. So I'm going to go ahead and take my substrate 
and put it inside of my isolation tank. All right, so I have my substrate inside of the tank. So this is what it looks like when you put it inside. Just make sure your substrate is super full up to the top, almost halfway. It should be at least six inches inside of your tank because in case if you bring home a new hermit crab and they end up going underground into the substrate to molt, you want to have plenty of room for that hermit crab to have, especially if it's between a medium to a large hermit crab. Small hermit crabs can go, probably go down to three inches, but medium to large hermit crabs, I would at least go up to six inches. So that's what it will look like. So number four is going to be food and water bowls. You're gonna need two water bowls and one food bowl. Now, you're gonna need a salt water dish and you're gonna need a fresh water dish and then of course your food. Now, if your hermit crab is going to be living in here for about a week, if you bring home a new hermit crab, you're definitely going to have food and water inside of the tank. If your hermit crab is coming out of a his or hers tank and you're putting it in here for an isolation tank for a couple of weeks while it's molting, you definitely want to have food and water in here for the hermit crab because once they are finished, they're going to probably definitely be hungry and thirsty and you want to have that option for them to have until you're able to take that hermit crab out and put it in with its new home. So let's go ahead and show you. Now since this tank is only a small tank, I only have two little dishes that I'm going to be showing you. This is just a little sample showing you guys how to set up an isolation tank. This is not really going to be an isolation tank. So this is going to be my water dish. So I will put that in right here. And this is going to be my food dish and I'll put that right over here. So, and just imagine that you're going to have another food, I mean another water dish on this side. So you're going to have two water dishes and a food dish. You can also happily have two food dishes. You can do the regular food and you can do some fruits and vegetables on the side in another dish. I have done that before too, so it's optional. It's up to you guys. But just remember that this is not a five gallon tank. This is just a small plastic critter keeper. So a five gallon tank is probably gonna be a lot bigger and it'll have more room for that hermit crab to have its other items in there besides uh, its hermit crab. So the next item is going to be number five and that will be shells. When you bring home a hermit crab or if your hermit crab is molting, you always wanna have extra shells inside the isolation tank for your hermit crab just in case it decides to want to change its shell at that time. Now most of the time when I brought a new hermit crab home and put new shells in there, within probably one or two days that hermit crab actually took out of that shell and went into another new one. And most of the time when you bring a home a hermit crab from a pet store, they don't have extra shells in there. So they're, fortunately they are actually stuck with the shell that they have until somebody buys them and brings them home and has other shells for them to change into. So it's always good to have extra shells in there while they're either molting or if you bring home a new hermit crab and you're doing an isolation tank. So definitely have at least between three to about five hermit crab shells and it has to be different sizes. It depends on the size of the hermit crab. So. I have some shells right here that I just wanted to show you. So here's probably about a medium sized one. So we'll put that one there. Here's another medium one right here. And then I have a couple of little bitty ones. These are probably like small size. So we'll put some of those right there. So you always want to have options so your hermit crab can change shells if it wants to. So here's what it looks like so far. All right, so number six is going to be the last thing, and that is going to be making sure that you spray down your tank. You want to have like a spray bottle like this, and so you guys can mist your tank. You want to make sure your tank is nice and moist and humidity inside of your tank, because if it's not, your hermit crab cannot breathe through its gills. So you want to make sure that you spray down your tank really good, before you put your hermit crab in there. So you, all you do is just spray it down just like this. Make sure it's nice and moist and everything. And it will look kind of like that. So that's good to go. Alright, and the final number six item that you're going to need for your hermit crab isolation tank 
is a heat pad. Now, on your regular tank, you should already have heat pads on your tank. So you want to make sure you have also heat pads on your isolation tank. Especially if the hermit crab is molting, you want to make sure you have that warmness for that hermit crab. So all you got to do is just pick up some heat mats. I usually get mine on Amazon. They're the perfect ones. I've never had any issues or problems. I will put them on the screen right now showing you guys what they look like. I absolutely love them. They're the perfect size and I've had those for years and years on my tanks and I have never really had any issues except after probably about a year or two it starts kind of coming off. Other than that you just take it off and replace it and put a new one up there. But they are perfect. I absolutely love them. So when you get your heat mat you want to put one on this side and one on this side and then you'll have heat on both sides. And then you'll have like a side that's in kind of in the middle where if they want to cool down, they can. But most of the time you want to have heat and humidity inside of your tank. So that would be that one. Then at number seven was pretty much the last item thing is you're going to need a humidity gauge inside of your um, isolation tank. And you can probably put that right here in the middle. I will put on a picture on the screen right now showing you guys what I have or what you can get at either Petco or PetSmart. It depends on what store you go to. But you just want to have a humidity gauge inside of your isolation tank so you can keep up with the humidity and make sure the tank is perfect while your hermit crab is living in here. More fortunately, your hermit crab will probably be living in there for about a week if it's a new hermit crab. If your hermit crab is molting, it'll probably be in there between two to maybe three weeks. It depends on the size of your hermit crab. But that is pretty much everything. And then all you do is just put your lid on and your isolation tank is completely finished. Now, if you want to make sure your hermit crab is not getting any light and is not getting disturbed or anything like that, you can also get a towel kind of like this but probably bigger because your tank's going to be a little bit more bigger and all you got to do is just completely cover it like this so it stays nice and humidity inside of it and it'll keep it nice and dark where it will be uh, safe and your hermit crab will be either less stressed out than it already is so that's pretty much what you can do. Every once in a while you could probably just peek through to make sure your hermit crab is okay. But other than that, you can put a towel over it to make sure there's a lot more darkness in there. So your hermit crab feels more safer when it's molting. Especially if your hermit crab is molting on top of its surface. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!